This is the Auxito 3157 type red automotive LED bulbs. Let's take it out of the box. And in the box you get the bulbs themselves. Here they are. Like I said, they are red. You can see that it is sort of a Trilon type thing. Three sides to it. There are also emitters in here, so it'll, the light will also come straight out, and that is an actual glass lens, not plastic. So these should hold up quite nicely. This will fit 3157 type bulbs, uh, incandescent bulbs. It should fit right in as a direct replacement in the socket. There are some other type of bulbs as well that these will fit. You need to check what particular car, what particular bulbs your car takes to ensure that these will fit. There are a number of different bulbs uh, and sockets that these will fit uh, with different numbers. They're very similar and should work. So anyway, we're going to take these out to the car and install them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install just the left side and that will allow you to see the difference between the new LED bulbs and the old incandescent. One thing I can tell you straight off that you're going to see is that the LED bulbs turn on instantly. So as soon as you step on the brake, that light is going to be on. And if you watch the incandescent, you'll see that takes just a very brief moment for the filament to actually warm up, produce light, and then it sort of fades out when you let go. The LEDs are instant on, instant off, just like that. So that means the instant you step on the brakes, you immediately have brake lights. And that, you know, fraction of a second right there can be enough between safely stopping and an accident. So let's go and install these now. First, you have to figure out which bulb it is you're going to be replacing. This particular car is a 2003 Toyota Camry. And there are four lights back here. There's sort of a marker light, the turn signal, reverse, and then the actual brake light itself. And that's the one we're going to be replacing. So when we look on the inside, it's the bottom most bulb. Toyota made this super easy to do. There's just a flap here. You just open it up. And there's a bulb up here, one here, one here, and one down over here. And that is the bulb that we're going to be taking out right in there. Installation is going to vary depending on vehicle. Typically, all you're going to do is twist that fixture in one direction or another and pull it straight out and you'll get the old bulb out. So we'll go in here and grab, give it a twist and pull, and there is the old bulb. Now, very simply, you just wiggle that out of the socket, make it a better grip on it, and just work it out. There it is there. Now we get the new Auxito bulb and install that. So now we get the new Auxito bulb and go ahead and plug that in. And you're just going to wiggle it until it goes in, and there it is right there. Now what I'm going to do is just test this while it's out before I go putting it in because that's actually the hard part of this whole thing. So now I'll go and put the parking lights on. And there you can see a nice brilliant red on all sides of it and also coming out from the lens there. Those are also lit up. Now I'm going to go step on the brake and it should go brighter. you see that works quite well. Now we're going to go ahead and install it. Now as I said before, this is going to be the most difficult part. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. It may go well for me or I might struggle for a couple of minutes. It's just a matter of getting it at just the right angle so it'll push in and then you give it a twist to lock. So let's give it a shot and see what we can do. I'll come around here and feed the bulb in. get the socket in place and I may have gotten lucky there it is you may not be able to install it that easy like I said it's just a matter of getting it at the right angle so it pops in and giving it a twist once you're done 
on this car. You just put the panel back and you're all done. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the parking lights on now and see if you could spot the difference. So you can clearly see that on the left is the new Auxedo LED bulb that I put in. The right side is dull and dingy in comparison to the left. Now I'm going to go ahead and step on the brake pedal a few times. I want you to pay particular attention to the difference in the lower bulb that you see on each side. You'll see, like I said earlier, the incandescent takes a moment for it to warm up while the LED is going to go nice and bright immediately. Watch. That's exactly what I was talking about. The difference between stopping safely and an accident. Just that tiny fraction of a second could be enough for the guy behind you to see with just enough time to leave a hair between his bumper or her bumper or their bumper and yours. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the right side LED bulbs in so everything matches. Here's a replay of the difference at one quarter speed. That is a serious amount of time from the LED bulb to the incandescent. Watch one more time. That's definitely a big difference. So there it is, all dressed up in LEDs, both left and right side. Looks great, a lot brighter than it was, and most certainly more noticeable to other drivers. Now I'm going to go ahead and step on the brake so you can see it. You will notice that the high mount brake light I have not yet changed. So once again this was the Auxedo 3157 type LED automotive bulbs. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description to the manufacturer's website where you can find the item available for sale. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.